Hi guys, this is Don, and I have another problem that uh, some of you seem to have difficulty with uh, in the homework and in the quizzes. Um, this is a problem that if you read it, it is a, um, a single mean problem. We've got a study of the food consumption of teenage males. We select 10 and ask how many drink 12 ounce servings of soda each day. And we want to test this at an alpha of 0 0.01. And we want to know, is there enough evidence to support the claim that the teenage males drink fewer than three 12 ounce servings of soda per day? Um, First of all, we've got to identify the null and the alternative. We can go back to this problem statement. The claim is males drink fewer than three. Fewer than three is a less than problem. It's the less than means it's a left tail problem. And because it's an inequality, that means that the claim, this less than three, must be the alternative. So if we look down here, and we can see here we've got the less than 3 for the alternative, which is correct. The null has to be the complement, and that is greater than or equal to 3. It's everything except less than 3. So that is our null, and that is our alternative. They tell us to use technology to find the p-value, and I'm always an advocate of using technology. In this case, we've got a table of numbers, so we've got raw data. If we click on the little icon there, unfortunately, StatCrunch doesn't open. You can open it in Excel if you want. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. And just to make sure, I'm going to put my cursor in that highlighted area and click Copy. I want to make sure that I'm copied that data. Now let's go to StatCrunch. And I want to paste in that data. So Control-V. Now I've got the data in this first column called Variable 1. And we're going to run an hypothesis test. Let's go to stat. Okay, the question is, do we do Z stats or T stats? Well, we don't know the population standard deviation, do we? We know the sample standard deviation, so that's one clue. The other clue is that we've only got 10 items, 10 values so our n is 10, much less than 30. So we're going to do a t-stat test. In the end, this is a one sample. This time, we have data. We open up the dialog box. We've only got one column there. So we select it, bring our data over there, there into the right box. We don't need to worry about the whereby, the group or the whereby. We're going to do the hypothesis test. The value is 3 that we're testing against, and it said less than 3. I'm just going to click Compute, and we've got a p-value of 0.076, which is greater than our alpha of 0 0.01, and since it's greater than, that means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Hope this helps.